and I'm Taylor, hosting from home. Try this act of kindness. Send five postcards of gratitude to friends, thanking them for their compassion and support. Now a message from Mr. Warther. Good morning, Will Rogers. Mr. Wurzer here. Welcome to the last week of October. Can you believe that? Uh, a little bit of news. First up, our, the Will Rogers ILS program. We're going to have a few students on campus starting next week. So congratulations and welcome for those of you that are watching the news and are, will be here on November 2nd. Next up, we've had a lot of competitions from our PBIS uh, team over the past few weeks and I want to let you know it has been really neat to go out and visit the houses and see how kids are doing uh, during these times and delivering the prizes to the students who are doing such a good job in all of our PBIS contests. Please give the good work. I've got to go and visit at least five students all by myself. Thank yous this week. We have three students who are being recognized. Tucker Montgomery, you're the first one. Uh, Ms. Chapman is reporting that you are showing excellent growth in her class, excellent work. Way to go, Tucker. Daphne Campbell and uh, Christy Rizik, thank you for all you're doing to support student government, the videos, and getting ready for our costume contest this week. And that's going to kind of piggyback on the next thing. This Friday, student government is hosting a costume contest at lunch. Uh, on the announcements today, the ones you're watching right now, uh, there's going to be an advertisement about the costume contest. Staff to recognize this week. We had an optional meeting the staff could go to to help share all the good things that happened at Will Rogers. So I need to send a big thank you to Ms. Escabel, Ms. Sassano, Mr. Lee, Mr. Jackson, Ms. Harper, Ms. Preston, Mr. McPherson, and Mr. Staffan, and of course Ms. Cazell and Mr. Banks, all there for supporting and sharing all the good things we do here at Will Rogers. Thank you so much. All right, students, quick recap. Last week of October, a few ILS students are coming back next week. Thank you to Tucker Montgomery, Daphne Campbell, and Chrissy Rizek. Staff, thank you so much for helping share all the good stuff at Will Rogers. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a beautiful week. I'll talk to you soon. Happy birthday to Miss Palmer. Her birthday is on Halloween. The PBIS booster for October is to recognize students that are following the Mustang for being ready specifically targeting being on time to Zoom. This week, students will be randomly selected from periods to be determined by Mr. Banks. Make sure you're on time to all your classes. So wait, there's more. All students that are entered in the Wheel of Names will still be eligible for the big end of the month prize. There will be three winners and they get to choose from one of the three items. LED bedroom lights, a $10 Little Caesars gift card, and a $10 Best in World gift card. Hello Mustangs, welcome to the Be Ready Week 3 Drawings. You are about to possibly see yourself as a winner for either a Starbucks or Dutch Bros gift card or for mystery swag snack bag. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first two will be for either a Dutch Bro or Starbucks card or for free drink. Our first winner is dun, 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 dun. Alina. All right, Alina. Next for the Starbucks or Dutch Bro card will be doo, 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 doo. Olivia. The following four winners are going to get a cool snack swag bag. Here we go. And it looks like it's going to be Lily. Congratulations, Lily. Our next winner for the snack swag bag will be Jay. <laughs> Woohoo! I know a lot of these awesome students. Okay. Our third winner for the mystery snack swag bag looks like it's going to be 
Chase Williams. Nice job, Chase. And last but certainly not least, the winner for this week will be Ethan Johnson. If you did not win, that's okay. If your name's on this list, you will still be entered into the end of the month drawing for the really cool big prizes. There will be a winner in each grade level. And so we will keep you posted on that. And we are gonna continue our Be Ready Challenge this week for mystery periods. So this time it could be any period. So be on time. Have a great week. Bye. The costume contest has begun. Check back at the Royal Rogers Gold Classroom page to vote Monday through Wednesday, 1026 to 1028. Good luck and have fun. Also, the student government will be hosting breakout rooms for Among Us Friday, October 30th at lunch. It will be from 1230 to 1. Hey Mustangs, it's Daphne from Student Government and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to vote. So all the pictures are submitted in to us from the costume contest and you are able to start voting on the 26th to the 28th and here's how you do it. So we're going to go to the Will Rogers Google Classroom, scroll down until you find the Google Slides from Mrs. Sano and basically these have all the pictures posted on here of everybody's costume for the scariest, the funniest, and most unique costume. Please go to the Google form in the Will Rogers Google Classroom and select your favorite in each category. And I think that's it. Bye, Mustangs! Congratulations to Ms. Marula's second period class. They are the October Spirit Week winners. We also want to recognize our second and third place classes, Ms. Basquez and Ms. Pierce's second periods. Don't forget the costume contest voting has begun. Log into the Will Rogers Middle School Google Classroom using code TU46AVE and vote for the scariest, funniest, or most unique costumes. Thanks, Mustangs. Let's meet some of the Will Rogers staff. Hi, Mustangs. This is Mr. Lindgren. I'm a seventh grade math teacher. I also teach a couple of math support classes. When I'm not doing that, I like to get out in nature and ride my bike and do some hiking. Um, if you need to get a hold of me as school's starting up here, my email is right above here. All right. It's Mrs. Zer, and I teach sixth grade ancient history, seventh grade world history, and drama, which has all three grades in it. Best way to contact me is my email and also through the remind.com, which is also a phone app, as well as the website at Zer6 is for my sixth graders, at Zer7 is the code for seventh graders, at Zer Drama is for my drama students, and I recommend both parents and students add me to their account on Remind. Go to the Will Rogers website to view and submit your own shout-outs for students and staff. You could see your shout-outs on the Monday Morning News. Time for shout out. Hey Mustangs, Mrs. Brizzy here. I just wanted to give a shout out to Taylor ooh, over there, Palmer. <laughs> and I just wanted to give her a shout out for being kind and responsible. She volunteered to share her screen to help my students out with a little tech issue. And she helped make everybody successful. And so I really appreciate her stepping up like that and being a great example for all the other students in my class. Thank you so much, Taylor. Have a great day. This shout out is for Alyssa Curtis for being responsible. When class was over, Alyssa continued to work on her math work. Um, we were able to work together so that way she could complete it. Um, even though she didn't have to keep going, she did. Great job being responsible, Alyssa. Today for the Monday Morning News, I'm Taylor. And I'm Asteria. Signing, Signing off. off.